Both teams circled the possibility of this rematch on their calendars long before this weekend, but it was Notre Dame Green Pond who once again emerged victorious. Saucon Valley did win the first match at 113 pounds, Aiden Grog earning a 7-0 decision over Cooper Feltman, but the Crusaders then went on to win eight consecutive bouts after that. Senior Adam Schweitzer had a 12-1 lead over Jackson Albert in the 120-pound match, and he went on to pin Albert in the third period with a fall time of 4 minutes and 45 seconds. The Notre Dame run also included a thrilling overtime bout between freshman Keegan Ramsey and Saucon senior Kale Markle at 145 pounds. The score remained 1-1 at the end of regulation, but Ramsey, who entered the finals 15-11 overall, simply smiled heading into OT and ultimately the freshman secured the takedown for a 3-1 decision win over Markle. Jake Jones was Saucon Valley's only other winner at 172 pounds. Jones topped Garrett Tedemer with a 7-2 decision. Saucon did forfeit one team point for action after the whistle making the final team score 55 Notre Dame. After a postseason filled with controversy and a rematch in the district final that everyone in the Valley was excited to see, Notre Dame delivers a dominant performance and claims their second straight district title. It was really cool. I mean, it's my first year uh, here at Notre Dame, so it's really awesome to be part of such a great team. We've built a lot of momentum this year, and I think we're going to keep it rolling in the States. You know, if everybody wrestles like they did here and, and really pushes the pace and works hard, I think we can really do great out at States and win. From Freedom High School for the Service Electric Network, I'm Courtney Dupont.